Tim Panasic for Gibbons Motor Toys. Today we're going to show you the Kingfisher 2325 Coastal Express. So before we begin, I just want to say this is a new boat. It's actually sold. It has not been rigged yet, but I think we can show you the boat fine, even though it doesn't have all the rigging completed at this point. So the 2325 is very similar to the 2225 Escape. The difference is, is that this is a pilot house configuration versus a slope back windshield configuration which is, means that the bow is going to be different. We'll show you that as we get to the interior of the boat. Uh, this hull measures just over 24 feet in length. It's rated for 250 horsepower. It's got an eight foot beam. It's got an 82 inch bottom. It's got Kingfisher's uh, full reverse chine hull from stem to stern. This is made for big water. Again, it's got Kingfisher's Preflex hull technology, so you can see where you've got the folds to increase the strength without adding weight to the boat, which is important. This has got an optional heavy-duty rub rail. This boat, I believe, also comes standard with a 190 3/16 bottom. This has got an upgraded quarter-inch bottom on it. You're not going to see that by looking at it. Actually, you will when we get to the stern, but I believe that's been an option that's been added here. We've got it packaged on an easy loader, 4,700 pound trailer. So this trailer does give you lots of capacity and does go down the highway very nice. Some features that you can see on the side here, the Kingfisher does a great job of is, look at the, the, I'll call it an eaves trough, a drip rail above the windows. So you notice the way that the water will come off the cabin, hit that to drip rail and then flow to the back, and then it's got drain holes here at the back so that you don't have, if you got your windows open, it's raining, you're not gonna have water running inside the cabin. We'll show you the roof of the boat once we get to the interior. This has got the optional rear sloper curtain on, and that rear sloper, as you can see, fits awesome. It's tightly strung. This thing can sit outside in snow through the story, winter storage period, or even if you're parked in a marina, it's quick, simple, easy to get on and off. So that's why we typically order these with a uh, rear sloper curtain. As we look at the stern, as I said, there's no engines on here. This is gonna get a 250 horse uh, Merc with a 15 horse uh, kicker. Looking at the aft deck of the 2325, uh, we'll start with the easy access step. This is a great idea by Kingfisher. Easily folds up, makes a full transom, transitions down to make a great step for ingress and egress in and out of the boat. You can see that we've got uh, dual trays on the sides. These have Kingfisher's rolled edges on top, which are really nice in terms of adding both strength and comfort when you're against them. This has got the optional uh, side gunnel bolstery pads here. You've got storage underneath this auxiliary helm here. This has got the upgraded 13 and a half inch stainless steel wheel with suicide knob, both on the aft and on the main helm. You've got lots of room here, dual cup holders, room for your electronics. You've got another three cup holders here. You got more storage space underneath that. We talked about the drip rails on top of the cabin. This is another important feature. So when that water does run drip off of here, we've got these dams right here on the gunnel that, that has the water run overboard versus inside the uh, aft deck. Uh, a real important feature on this boat is this optional easy clean floor. So basically this is the next best thing to a self bailing deck. Any debris that you get from your fish or whatever else, all you do is you wash this down, it goes into the channels on the sides, and then from there, we'll show you when we get to this angle here, Basically, what you have is two mercerator pumps that are going to pump those contaminants overboard. We've got fish boxes on both sides. And uh, we've got storage tray with more slide out roller drawer there with more storage. We've got a large fish box back here. This does have an optional upgraded live well. Reason for that is works great for uh, keeping crab alive there. As far as battery compartment, like I said, this boat's not rigged, but you've got plenty of working room in here. Everything's uh, neatly done from the factory. So you got really ac easy access there to all your pumps. You can see the multiple pumps, both for the 
fish, uh, yeah, for the uh, live well, for your bilge pumps, automatic bilge pump, etc. Elaborating on the easy clean floor, I'll just show you here as well. When the step is up, this is where you would access the float. And you've got your pump that's going to take care of all that debris. So what that really means to you is that you're not going to have a boat that's going to smell because none of that debris that's on your deck here is going to get into your bilge. It's going to go overboard. Another thing is, is that the quality of these doors, nice, solid. The hinges to secure them work really well. As we enter the uh, cabin, you can see that this has got uh, two 36 inch uh, bench seats in the back. This does have, so those are an option and they do convert to a bed. So you can see you got the aluminum brackets here. This has the uh, optional porta potty on the starboard side. This side's gonna be all storage. These back cushions just lift off. This comes together, so that's what forms your bed. This has got the uh, best seat option that's available. So that's got the River Masters with the armrest, the extra thick support, both on the back and the cushioning of the seat. And it's got the shockwave suspension. Shockwave seats are the best you can get. They make no noise, they're quiet, they're gonna last for years, and you can adjust the air pressure in them to suit your weight. Here we've just got more floor storage. So that's a fairly deep compartment that offers you more storage on the interior. You can see you've got storage underneath your shockwave uh, bases there. If you look at the roof, this has got the optional cold liner package. So you can see the nice material that's used here to create a much softer interior, way more comfortable. You've got storage shelves up here, which are humongous on both the uh, starboard and port side. Kingfisher's done some other little touches. Just by putting this dam here, you can throw your cell phone or other components there so they're not gonna slide off that shelf. You've got dual cup holders. We've got plenty of dash space for all kinds of options in terms of your electronics. I showed you the upgraded uh, steering wheel at the uh, auxiliary helm. You've got more storage up here as well. You've also got this uh, stainless steel rail to hold on to when you're underway. One thing I should have pointed out is where the porta potty is, is that you do have a privacy curtain that surrounds that. More storage on the passenger side here. Two more cup holders again. This has got the cold air package. So whether you're blowing cool air to defog your windows, or if you want to add an optional heater to this, it's easy for us to plumb in a heater and utilize that cold air ducting. For the passenger, this is a great place. Both passenger and driver, you can see, got matching uh, foot supports there, which works really good. As we uh, enter the uh, bow of the boat, you can see that we've got, uh, this is all finished up here. It is gonna be tight, you know, for a full-size person to sleep here, probably not gonna happen, but smaller people for sure will. Remember, you've got the aft bed as well. Uh, just to give you an idea here, we've got our rigging components here. And I guess something that I could add to this is that this does have the uh, Dometic uh, EPS electric steering. So this helm is part of that uh, electric steering. And then there's also a fairly large storage compartment under here. In the front of that uh, header board is gonna be where your anchor road is gonna store, I should point out as well. Now something to differentiate the 23 from the 22, this is where the difference is gonna be. The 23 does offer you more interior room since you got the pilot house forward sloping windshield. You can take advantage of all this space and you've got full height right to the front of the boat versus a sloping windshield is obviously gonna come back. The trade-off is gonna be is that you're gonna have a drop bow with the 22 with a walk-through windshield versus the pilot house configuration. You've got this dry storage up here that you can utilize for a number of different things. And if you are in rougher sea conditions, you take a wave up on the bow. Obviously it's not going anywhere here, but off the boat. So this is just a more serious offshore boat. Looking at the bow here, this is designed to have a windlass added to it. You can see where you're gonna store your road. 
you've got this large tie-off uh, cleat here for your uh, road. When you look at the roof here, we've got all kinds of uh, extra storage capacity here. This does have the optional stainless steel rails and tie-down points. So the nice part about this is that you can actually strap your gear to these hooks that are welded integrally to the roof instead of just relying on the rails to hold everything. So basically the rails are gonna support your load, you're gonna tie down to the uh, secured uh, tie down points on here. And you can also see the uh, drip rails from here, how effective those are. The other thing we should point out with these roof rails is that these are fully adjustable. So any these three cross rails can go fore and aft in any position you want. So we have plenty of room to mount a radar up here. You can still put a tender up here if you like. You can see your roof mounted rod holders. So lots of usable space up here. Another great small feature that Kingfisher does, it's a small feature, but I think it's a fairly big feature, is you can see the net holder here. So this is designed that you put the butt of your net here, you clip the uh, top of the net right here so your net lays flat. And that's lots of times get uh, stinky and that's just a great place to store it. It's totally out of the way. It doesn't uh, interfere with any of your working area on the deck. And when you need it, it's just a matter of just like this out and you've got it really quickly. So that's a really nice feature that Kingfisher does. So the 2325 is really designed for a person that's gonna probably spend uh, most of their time uh, tying up to a dock. Doesn't matter if it's fresh water or salt water. The compromise that you're gonna have with this boat is the ability to pull onto a beach and easily jump off the bow of the boat. It's not a drop bow, that's gonna make it a little bit more difficult. What you're gonna gain by that is all that extra dry storage that you see in the bow of the boat. So there's what you gotta weigh out, the difference between the pilot house configuration with the closed bow versus a drop bow. So if you're spending most of your time on lakes where you're beaching the boat and you need access off the bow, this may not be the perfect hull for you. But if you're looking at big water, you're looking for the best safety uh, then this is going to get the nod because it's going to give you those features plus that additional dry storage. So that would be the difference between these hulls and who should buy which one based on your needs. Hopefully this video helped you understand the 2325 Kingfisher Coastal Express a little bit better. If you like this video, please subscribe to our channel if you hope to see more like this.